Now then my friends, got a little bit of a treat for you. Yes, it is another full English breakfast, but as you know, there are different types of full English breakfast. You can have a fry up, uh, or you can have a little bit more upmarket uh, full English breakfast. And it's a little bit more upmarket today because last weekend, uh, I went to a place called Cannon Hall Farm uh, with Sarah, Harriet and James. We went to a Christmas pantomime. But while we were there, we actually had lunch. And I have to say, it was absolutely Absolutely fantastic. I had toad in the hole. Uh, the sausages were amazing. They're on another level and it's all the produce from the farm itself. So it's all, everything is from the farm. The veg, all the different uh, meats, etc. You can even go around the farm. You can see the pigs that's going to be baking on your breakfast the next morning. <laughs> Controversial for some. Um, you can see the cows, you can see everything and everything is locally sourced from that farm. So what you are eating is from that farm. Uh, so if you want to see tomorrow's breakfast have a wander around. Um, anyway, we won't go there. Um, we're going there today because they do have a full English breakfast on uh, and it's supposed to be fantastic. Um, we're going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. Uh, it's literally open till, uh, or they're serving the breakfast till half past 11. We're going to get there at about 10 past 11, all being well, traffic being well. I'm really, really looking forward to it. If you are new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Now I have to say, I'm not vegetarian, I'm not vegan, um, you know, I do like eating meat or certain, certain types of meat. However, I do find it a little bit daunting when you're wandering around the farmyard and you're looking at the animals. In fact, I said the other day, I went with uh, the, the family and I, Harriet was there and she was like, oh, look at the little pigs, aren't they beautiful? And I went, yep, you see pig, I see bacon and she says I'm going vegetarian and she's actually started to be vegetarian in the last few days. It'll change um, as soon as we have a Chinese. But I have to say it is a little bit off-putting when you can see the animals. I don't know, maybe you think different. Let me know in the comment section down below. I have an issue with, before I met Sarah, I never ate duck because, and I love it now with hoisin sauce, but because it's called duck and I thought I'm eating a duck and you know if you eat a, a steak it's called a steak but if it says I've got a plate of cow on my plate then it'd be a bit different you know I can't eat lamb particularly um lamb makes me go oh I'm like oh no it's lamb it's lamb you can't eat a lamb so it's like the names of things I don't seem to have such an issue with fish or chicken uh, but when it's actually caught, when seeing it there, I thought, oh no, that's tomorrow's breakfast. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, do you have an issue with that? If you're not, I know you do if you're vegetarian or a vegan, but do you have an issue with it if you're not? Pop it in the comments section down below. Obviously, I'm not going to have an issue with it today because um, I'm going to be eating some of it. In fact, I might, no, I might, I only went last weekend. I might be eating the pig that I saw with my daughter. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to tell her later on. Hey, you remember that pig that you saw, H? Eh? Sure, I had it for breakfast this morning. Anyway, come on, onwards. Can't believe it. I'm actually stuck behind a tractor. And uh, by the way, there's lots, if you've got kids, little kids like uh, my, my James loves tractors and diggers and trains and stuff. Loads and loads of tractors there, as I say, it is a working farm uh, and it's a proper big farm as well. Uh, the only tractors that you won't find there, of course, are uh, Chelsea tractors because you'll only find them outside uh, schools on the school run. Uh, and talking of that, by the way, well, I've got you here. I said the other day, if you're new to the channel, then you won't know, but 
I said, oh, you, you get your women in your Chelsea tractors with the sunglasses, etc. I'll run through this quickly. Sorry if you've heard this before, but there is a little bit more to it. And I've said, you know, got the handbags, go for coffee, and they never go off road. This morning, right, I saw a woman in a Chelsea tractor, right, an Audi Q8, I think it was, or, or whatever, right, dropping her child, child, not children, child, off to school, right? dropped him off to school get this she'd got her sunglasses on it's a beautiful day right she'd got her sunglasses on but she'd got this is taking it to the next level right now i i mentioned this to baz the barber this morning he went yeah i've seen that she was wearing a dressing gown she'd got her dressing gown on in the chelsea tractor in the car with her sunglasses on and I've seen that a couple of times, but I thought oh, it must be just a one-off. And it's been different people. It's like, I'm too busy and important to actually get dressed, but I'm still gonna put my sunglasses on and leave my dressing gown on. What's all that about? Have you seen it? But it, sorry, it grinds my gears, it really does. All these Chelsea tractors, unbelievable. You don't need them. You don't need them. Anyway, that's my <laughs> rant over which you'll see probably see some proper tractors anyway come on onwards What a beautiful part of the world. As you can guess, we are in Yorkshire, where they, where they know what they like and they like what they bloody well say. Yorkshire, Yorkshire tea. <laughs> it is a beautiful part of the world. Can you tell by the way, you can tell by the way, um, when somebody is from Yorkshire. Do you know how? Because they'll tell you. <laughs> the old ones are the best. Come on, we're almost there. It is a beautiful day though, I've got to say. Absolutely gorgeous. What a day to go and have a look uh, around a farm. I don't know if we'll get a chance to have a look around the farm, but we'll, uh, and I'm not sure, come on. I'm not sure as I want to see, I don't want to see a pig before I eat. It'll put me off. It would put me off. You're going to say, what's the matter with you, lad? What's the matter with your Mac? Come on, just get it down, you. You're a man or a mouse. <laughs> Are you a big girl's blouse? Get it down, you. Come on, onwards. Right, here we are, Cannon Hall Farm in Yorkshire. Let's uh, get in there because we're going to have a uh, we're going to eat a full English on a working farm with tomorrow's breakfast. I think I might use that as a title. Go on. Right, so plenty of parking here, by the way, but you do have to pay 
uh, if you're staying for over an hour. But if you can wolf it down within an hour, then it's free parking. What a beautiful, beautiful part of the country. Honestly, it is gorgeous. Oh, wow. <laughs> Right, let's have a quick look around the farm. Let's have a look at uh, tomorrow's breakfast or next week's breakfast uh, down here. Absolutely fantastic here. You've even got meerkats. It's just brilliant and what a wonderful day. Right, let's take a quick look around before we go and have breakfast. Right, here we are. This is going to put me off my breakfast, this is. I'm not sure as I want bacon after this. Let's take a look at the pigs. What do you think of a full English? No? Oh no, I feel really bad now. I'm not sure as I can eat the breakfast. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe I should have done this after. I don't know. Anyway, come on, let's get out of here. See you next week on my plate. friends so uh, I have ordered uh, what we've got on here we've got two sausages we've got the hash browns uh, we've got tomato ramekin of beans I've uh, got the toast the bacon and the egg is done to perfection I always say you've got to have the egg white over the top and not bright yellow and this my friends is perfect and we've got the big uh, mushroom under there as well as I say totally totally different style of breakfast uh, to your uh, greasy spoon. Just look at that, a good bend in the sausage as well. We've got a grain gill sausage, as I like to say. Uh, we've got Heinz and we've also got the brown sauce, which is HP. So we go, before we go any further, just take a closer look, my friends.
Right, okay, my friend. So this come to a total of 14 pounds. I had a latte, probably did a rookie error there because um, it says, oh, you can have as many refills as you want on the latte at certain times, which is breakfast. But I had a large one, which rookie error there. Uh, but he did ask me, I should have, if he'd have told me first, I probably would have just gone for the small one and kept going back. Um, unless there's no price difference, I don't know. But um, anyway, first of all, let's go in for the old uh, Grange Hill sausage there. As I say, all this um, meat on here is from here. So uh, the bacon on there is probably Percy that I was looking at uh, on Sunday with Harriet. Sorry, H. Bit of ketchup on the sausage there. Really, I shouldn't do that without. Let me go in again. Beautiful inside. These are the same sausages that I had uh, in the toad in the hole on Sunday. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh man, wow. Wow, absolutely amazing. Um, let's have a look at the hash browns. Not greasy at all. Nice crispiness to the outer there. Nice and light and fluffy on the inside. Mm. Beautiful. Three rashes of bacon. Sorry, Percy. <clears throat> Here we go. Told you I'd be back. Good saltiness to it. Wow. Very salty, that one. Right, beans in a little ramekin here. Okay, pop the beans down there. Now, do you keep your beans in the ramekin or do you dispense them? Pop that in the comment section down below. But what we're gonna do is we'll chase the beans now. Oh yeah. You can tell they, they have not seen a microwave at all, spot on. Uh, if we just cut into the tomato, I'm going to be careful here because these tomatoes usually spurt out and hit you. There we go. The tomatoes cooked well. Normally, on a lot of these places, it's still raw. They've, they've only shown it in the pan, but this. Beautiful, right. I'm going to break the egg now, so I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Have a look at this. Wow, that egg is absolutely perfect. We've got the toast here, which is pre-buttered. Dip that into the egg. Excellent. Go for the mushroom. There we go. That's a nice, top quality, clean breakfast, as I say, 14 pounds in total, with a coffee refill. Um, taste the coffee. Coffee's pretty good as well. Right, I'll eat this, come back to you, and then we'll mark it out of 10.
Right, my friends, <clears throat> this is absolutely fantastic. I've almost finished it. Uh, you don't need to see any more uh, footage of me eating my breakfast. Uh, so I'll see you guys outside. Don't forget, we're marking this out of 10 uh, on looks alone and on price and also quality. So I'll see you outside. Right, my friends. Okay, so uh, I have to say, by the way, uh, this is an absolutely fantastic place before we start. You can go around, see all the animals. I love the meerkats, by the way. Um, they're, they're my favourite. I absolutely love them where they popping up like that. Fantastic. Um, the farm itself is brilliant. I mean, I only had a quick look around this, this, uh, this morning. But uh, you've got a tractor there over there and it'll actually take you around. There's a trailer on the back. I went on it at the weekend with uh, Sarah, Harriet and James and it takes you all around the farm and you can get to see the farm itself and the different animals. Um, <clears throat> there's a play centre in there as well. There's everything in there. Um, you have to pay to go in, but there's also the slides. There's big slides for the kids as well. James loved going down them. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, it's really, really cool, I have to say. But we'll get to the breakfast in a minute. What a, I feel guilty, actually, because you see that that's the only thing. If you go around there and you see the pigs and the animals and then you're going to eat them after, it's... Um, uh, I find it, you may not, I find it a little bit off-putting. It's enough to make me go vegetarian, uh, I have to say. Um, because you, you kind of block, you kind of, joking aside, I know I was joking in there already, but you, 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 you kind of block it out of your mind, don't you, when you're eating it? You think sausage, bacon, you know, whatever. Uh, but um, I don't know, it's like... But anyway, let's put that aside because it is a fantastic place. The breakfast itself was excellent. The sausages, proper grain jill sausage, as I said, tomato. I prefer tin tomatoes, but it was cooked properly. It's a different kind of breakfast. It's a more of a, an upmarket full English, isn't it, that? Uh, rather than like a fry up, a greasy fry up. My only drawback on it was that the toast was pre buttered and a little bit sloppy. Um, I would have, I prefer my toast not to be pre buttered. Um, other than that, the egg, oh my word, the egg was, that was that to me. Remember that egg? That is exactly how an egg should be. Let this car go by, these cars go by. Exactly how an egg should be. Absolutely superb. The bacon, very, very, very salty. Um, and I asked the lady in there when I paid to go in, you have to pay to go in the farm, I think it's five pound odd, and she said um, it is actually the, uh, all the, all the food from there is actually from this farm. So if you are uh, having your breakfast, uh, you probably are, probably am having the pig from at the weekend. Um, but the breakfast itself, fantastic, loved it, really, really, really pleased. Um, I'm going to mark it, I think score-wise, God, that sun's bright, I think score-wise, I'm going to go, I'm going to go nine, I think, nine, because of the toast was a little bit, a little bit sloppy. Um, but that's the only drawback, really. Uh, I think nine's, probably nine's, do you know what, I don't normally change my mind. I'm going to take a point five off. I am going to, I'm going to change my mind for once, but I'm going to go 9.5, because... I think it, it deserves it. it was just that bread. That's all that toast. Anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you for watching. Um, if you do come next week or in the next couple of weeks, you never know that them pigs that's been on the video might be your breakfast. Good grief. I think I might just start eating. I might go pescatarian. How's that? Anyway, that's all from me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.